By the title of this video, this should be a banger. It says, Mike Tyson exposes Diddy for what really happens at his parties. Now, it's already confirmed. These parties that Diddy's been hosting for the past two decades or so, they've been some real freak-offs. Many celebrities go on there, and unfortunately, children have been claimed to be involved. So, it's getting very wild. And this is exactly why Cat Williams said, if Diddy asks you to party with him, you gotta say no. You gotta say no. You have to say no. You don't want to end up drugged up and bent over on a couch. I know it sounds wild, but this is just the world we're living in at this point. It is what it is. And I, I was thinking about it today. Everyone that was like in their 20s during the 90s or in the 80s or even like the early 2000s, like 20 and 30 year olds, I know y'all used to look up to Diddy like he was the man ski. Diddy, Jay Z, all of them. They were the, they were that generation blowing up, popping off. People probably looked at them as gods, but nah, they did a lot of crazy things to get to the position that they're in, sacrificing people when it comes actually killing people. Now they're saying that they're reinvestigating how Tupac had uh, ended up dead, saying that Diddy has some some association with that. But I want to see what Mike Tyson has to say about Diddy right here. Hopefully this is not clickbait. Let's see what's going on. The raid that took place here happened a little bit after 3 o'clock this afternoon. And a neighbor tells me that about 30 to 40 law enforcement officers uh, showed up to the house out here. Sean Combs has found himself in the news again for the wrong reasons. This time, it is about the Homeland Security raids on his two homes in Miami and L.A. The situation has received much media attention in the past few days. Former heavyweight boxer Mike Tyson is elated about the feds raiding the billion Air's houses. Tyson, who has a long-standing feud with Diddy, was one of the first to react to the event. Trouble started between the two a few months ago after new revelations showed Diddy's possible connection to the Mike, 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 Mike. Tyson, who has a long-standing feud with Mike. Diddy, was one of the first to react to the event. Trouble started Mike. between the two a few months ago. I know, I know you're from a different generation. But we in 2024 now. I don't know if, you know, like shorts that short and tight is acceptable. Maybe you could pull it off because, you know, people like you as a masculine man, you knock people out. But come on, Mike. I could, come on, Mike. You know what I'm saying? Come on, Mike. Go after a new revelation showed Diddy's possible connection to the death of music legend Tupac Shakur. Mike Tyson recently brought up the surprising topic, seemingly implying Diddy's involvement in Tupac's death. He spoke about Tupac's MR during an interview and said it was all planned. I just think, this is my personal opinion, all that stuff was planned in advance. That was the perfect opportunity for something like that to happen. Everybody knew everybody was going to be there. Mike Tyson recently claimed that he has new evidence linking the death of the rapper to Diddy Combs. Right. The revelation... Like, I wouldn't be surprised. We know that these rappers be taking people out who are a threat to their career. And Tupac was definitely, he goes down as a legend. Ignited the long-standing speculation surrounding the tragic death of Tupac. The rapper mesmerized the world with his lyrical prowess. He was one of his generation's best musicians and a boxing follower during his lifetime. In a separate interview, Tyson said he wished for five minutes alone with Tupac's murderers so he could get revenge for his late friend. In a separate interview, Tyson also claimed that Diddy is gay and tried to force him into that lifestyle. Father, that I'm on myself, I'm selling my body to these people, and then these people tell you some stuff, and you say, fuck, oh, <laughs> Yeah, I don't belong, Tyson's claims have shocked many people, but Diddy claims the former boxer is tripping and can't prove his claims. Let's return to the latest raid on the music mogul's home and explain how it happened. And security agents conducted searches of Holmby Hills and Miami mansions belonging to Sean Diddy Combs on Monday as part of a federal inquiry into trafficking allegations involving the music mogul. According to media sources familiar with the inquiry, the large mansion where Diddy released his last album last year was full of agents who served a search warrant and gathered evidence on behalf of an investigation being conducted by prosecutors in the Southern District of New York. For the same reason, two of Diddy's sons were shortly detained on the property as agents searched the mansion. As part of an investigation into alleged 
Today, an updated civil lawsuit makes similar allegations. They're going to probably be arresting me just because we want to have a good time. Multiple safes broken into, drawers ripped open. The rapper turned entrepreneur, Diddy, or... I heard that even during, during the raid, they found hella hidden cameras all over the whole entire mansion. So if you were ever at one of his freak offs, just know it's on camera. You're done. You're finito. They caught they caught you in them in them thongs. And I'm talking about grown men. Yeah, they caught they got you. You're finito, you're done. Or Sean Combs has become the focus of intimidation and trafficking allegations since 2023. The raid is the latest and most serious threat to his celebrity lifestyle. Four ladies filed civil lawsuits against Diddy, accusing him of violation, trafficking a minor, assault, and a host of other alleged abuses. In addition, his former girlfriend, Cassandra Ventura, also known as Cassie, accused the billionaire of violation and repeated physical assaults, and said he forced her to be intimate with with male courtesans in front of him. However, Diddy settled the lawsuit with Cassie and closed the case. However, other lawsuits remain, and more lawsuits are expected as more revelations accuse the music mogul of wrongdoings. Consequently, many celebrities have made claims about Diddy's wrongdoings, with some accusing him of engaging in gay activities. These celebrities include Suge Knight, Kanye West, and 50 Cent. At the same time, some have suggested that he will be sent to jail in the coming months. In a candid discussion on the Club Shay Shay podcast, Cat Williams suggested that Diddy would be exposed this year. The comedian alleged, you have to tell Diddy no, and further claimed that he has receipts from everything he shared with host Shannon Sharp on the episode. In a separate discussion, the comedian claimed that he rejected $50 million from the music mogul four times. However, no evidence yet supports his claims. Although Diddy has denied all the claims, an investigation into these lawsuits is still ongoing. Interestingly, now, what kind of pose? Did y'all just see that pose? I mean, it, it's a fact. Any grown man calling another grown man daddy, you're gay. You you might as well just be your nickname might as well be called Fruit Roll Up cuz that you're you're fruity. Whole cupcake. A fruity pebble cupcake. But did y'all see this pose? Never seen this one before, bro. Suits. Yo, y'all want to hear a crazy story real quick? Tell me how. I posted this picture on the gram. I went, I went traveling uh, about like two weeks ago. I posted this picture on Instagram. You know, it's a pretty dope picture. It's like, like it's, it's nothing crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm just there standing in my bathing suit, whatever. I've been working out. I'm like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I look good. Point blank period. It is what it is. That's not gay. Even if you do, you know, I got muscles. Simple. But bro, that picture got into the gay algorithm of Instagram. I'm not even lying. And the reason being is because I also been hitting my squats. So, bro, I don't want to talk about it. But long story short, it got into the gay algorithm. And I, eh, it is what it is, bro is still ongoing. Interestingly, media sources claim that firearms were found at both homes belonging to Diddy. The agents of Homeland Security also seized two phones belonging to Diddy before his trip to the Bahamas. Far a federal agents who were at both residences yesterday in Miami and here in Los Angeles. The only reason why I brought that up though, <coughs> it's gonna sound so crazy. One dude commented thick with two C's and a peach emoji. I said, nah, this is going way too far. You know, I had to delete the, that comment, block, start blocking people. I'm like, no, come on, man. This is this picture was not intended for y'all. Blasting what they're calling a show of force by armed tactical agents. The attorney describing this as a witch hunt. On the day of the raids, Diddy spoke about the situation through his lawyer, Aaron Dyer. Yesterday, there was a gross overuse of military level force as search warrants were executed at Mr. Combs' home. There is no excuse for the excessive show of force and hostility exhibited by authorities or the way his children and employees were treated. He denied rumors that the rapper was detained and called the raid a witch hunt adding that Diddy had spoken and cooperated with authorities since the investigations began. Attorney for rapper and producer Sean Diddy Combs is maintaining his innocence in the first public statement since yesterday's federal raids on his homes in Florida and California. Also this week, a man the police described as Diddy's drug mule named Brendan Paul was arrested by federal agents in Miami airport. This man looked like a drug mule. 
This dude looked like he been serving drugs since middle school. <laughs> they look like a middle school drug dealer, bro. While he was allegedly carrying supposed contraband inside of his travel bags, the arrest of the 25 year old came on the same day as the raid on Diddy's home. He is also accused of working for Diddy to gather and distribute guns for him. In the same lawsuit filed by Rodney Jones, he testified to personally seeing Mr. Paul either transport or try to transport illegal drugs on flights between LA, Miami, Virginia, the Caribbean, and London on three occasions. However, Mr. Paul hasn't made any comment concerning the arrest, either publicly or through his lawyer. He was released after posting a $2,500 bail. The former athlete is expected to be in court on athlete. 24th of April, 2024. What kind of athlete was he? Was he... What was he, playing Batman or... What were you doing, buddy? You don't look like a baller. But we believe that what they're wanting to do is do further investigation with law enforcement, the Florida case, to see if there's a way that they can tie his arrest to Puffy. Despite allegations of working as an associate of Diddy, his residence shows him as living with his parents in Chagrin Falls, Ohio. This is strange given that Diddy is a billionaire and his associates should be worth a few million dollars. In a separate incident, music legend Usher revealed what he saw at Diddy's home when he lived with him at the age of 13. The clip resurfaced on social media after the raids by Homeland Security on Diddy's homes in Miami and LA. In the clip, the R&B superstar <coughs> answers questions about his time living with the music mogul when he was 13 years old. Diddy is credited with discovery and nurturing of artists such as Usher and Maze, who rose to fame in the mid-90s. Diddy and Usher met after the R&B singer signed a recording deal with L.A. Reid, who reportedly sent him to live with Diddy in New York for a year. Usher called the experience Flavor Camp. He recalled how Diddy introduced him to a different kind of lifestyle. Usher also described his time with Diddy as pretty wild, saying he witnessed curious things and emphasized that this was the 1990s. When asked if he would allow his child to live with Diddy, he answered, hell no. I mean, I'm 13 years old. I'm not here to party with you. I don't want to go to the clubs. I'm, matter of fact, I'm too young to even be in here. Why you got me in clubs? There were, there were a lot of things I seen and uh, a lot of positions that I think I was put in. The raid on Diddy's home has... What kind of positions are you talking about? That's just sad, though. I'm not going to lie because he ain't have the Cat Williams we have nowadays to to tell people that you gotta just say no. Usher didn't know just to say no. So he ended up being put in different positions. That's tough. Generated plenty of responses from musicians and other celebrities, including the rapper, producer, and businessman, Curtis Jackson, also known as 50 Cent. The rapper who is known for yeah, hitting- think 50 ever done anything gay? Comment down below. You know, because 50's one of those dudes that is like, he got shot nine times. He's the gangster of the gangster. You think he ever did? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't think so. Because I know him and Diddy have beef. His controversial statements took to his social media page, specifically Instagram. After the news of the authorities raiding Diddy's home broke, the rapper appeared to mock Diddy in his post. Shot just got real. Then he shared an image of the raid on the music mogul's home. Then he went on further to say, the feds in all the cribs. Damn, they got the kids in cuffs. 50 Cent also reacted to the incident on X, formerly called Twitter, saying, now it's not Diddy do it, it's Diddy done. They don't come like that unless they got a case. For the same reason, Audrey O'Day, a member of the group Danity Kane, formed by Diddy on an MTV reality show, said, What you sow, you shall reap. She posted on Instagram. The group Danity Kane later signed with Diddy's Bad Boy Records in 2005. Other group members include Andrea Fimbre, Juanita D. Woods Woodget, Dawn Richard, and Shannon Bex. Danity Kane disbanded in 2009 after tensions between the band members and Diddy became unbearable. However, the band has reunited several times without any connections to Diddy. The former Danity Kane member writing on Instagram, what you sow, you shall reap. Diddy's ex-girlfriend, Cassandra Ventura, Cassie, also reacted to the news of the raid. Following the raid incident, she shared a statement through her attorney, Douglas Wigdor. Hopefully, this is the beginning of the process that will hold Mr. Combs responsible for his depraved conduct. Meanwhile, Tanika Ray, a TV host and one-time backup singer for Diddy, said she had a horrific experience with the rapper that 
caused her to avoid him. She wrote on her Instagram page that she knew to avoid him at all costs. But the TV host said she won't divulge what allegedly happened to her to avoid revisiting the trauma it caused. However, Sean Diddy Combs has reacted to all the attacks and claims made against him through his lawyer. There has been no finding of criminal or civil liability with any of these allegations. Mr. Combs is innocent and will continue to fight daily to clear his name. But the rapper hasn't publicly appeared since the raids on his mansions. What do y'all think? <laughs> it's a funny question to ask at this point. Y'all think Diddy is innocent? You probably thought the, the screen froze. But seriously speaking, like, the lawyer's just doing his job at this point. Man said Diddy is innocent. Innocent. That's a funny one right there, bro. But hey, I wanna I wanna look into the Mike Tyson, what Mike Tyson had to say to Diddy, because it seems as if they did have some correlation, maybe like a little argument or disagreement. But Mike Tyson did speak on it just a little bit. Hope you guys did enjoy this video though. Make sure you do smash the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one the same way you're gonna catch me in the next one. Peace.